first, fast, accurate with Jennifer Copeland and Rick Schutt. You're watching WSBT 22 News at 5. Animal control and police are on the scene right now removing more than a dozen animals from a southwest Michigan home. And prosecutors just identified the two people charged in this case. Jessica Ochberger and Troy Lieby face charges of abandoning and cruelty to animals. We broke this story yesterday at 5. WSBT 22 Zach Crenshaw has been at the home all day long. He's live from Montville Township now. And Zach, these animals were just removed from that home. Yeah, that's right, Rick. Just a few minutes ago, actually, police and zoo staff were busy taking crates out. They were covered in blankets, so the animals were not too worried or disturbed. But actually, in this van that you see behind me, there's a wallaby it was making a lot of noise moving around in its crate. We could hear it very prominently. They're getting ready to head out now, though. Only one of the animals had to be sedated. It was actually a monkey that they were worried might have some diseases. But while these animals were put through a lot today, police say they're on their way to a better place. What started as an anonymous call to police about exotic animals culminated in their rescue from a Mottville Township home. We had to catch up the wallabies, um, just give them a quick health check and make sure that they're okay. And we've got them in crates right now and they're pretty calm. Wallabies, native to Australia, not southwest Michigan, were not the only strange animal inside. A monkey, um, raccoon kind of an animal. I can't tell you his name. Um, spider, tarantula, several species of fish, uh, sugar squirrels. Last night, two people renting the home were arrested on suspected animal neglect. It's not great for the animals. They're, they're living in um, a lot of dirt and feces and things like that. Unfit for animals or humans as far as we're concerned. The two arrested, Jessica Ackberger and Troy Levy, had ties to the former Granger and now Elkhart Pet Shop down under Reef. Apparently they owned that pet store and uh, that was down in Granger, Indiana, I think it was. And I think they ran into some of the same issues. To get the animals out safely, the police called in the help of Binder Park Zoo. You know, the kangaroo type animals, the, uh, uh, they have a lot of power, they're really fast. Uh, you gotta know what you're doing when you're handling those things. The animals are now going to the zoo and two other rescue organizations. The owners are behind bars and the animals are all safe and now on their way to a new home. So um, definitely uh, are going to go to a better place right now and um, get some good food and water. You can see the people behind me. They actually just put some sugar gliders, those flying squirrels, in the car behind me. Like I mentioned, there's a wallaby in this car now. They're getting ready to head back. Almost all of the mammals in this house are gone now. I'm told a few fish are still in there, but someone is on their way now to pick up those exotic fish. As for Ackberger and Lieby, they had their bond set at $5,000 this afternoon. No word tonight on whether they have bonded out. We'll be in court again in about two weeks. As for the animals, the zoo says they plan to house them as long as they need to until they can find them permanent homes. Reporting live in Montville Township, Zach Crenshaw, WSBT 22 News. Zach,